Hey guys, several of my viewers have asked me to give some more information on the Kajari melon, and we're gonna do that today. I also have a special tip at the end, and I will show you how to net a really great harvest. So in the meantime, why don't you get your wellies, meet me in the garden. So the Kajari melon is thought to have originated from the Punjab area of India. Um, that would make sense. This uh, plant seems to tolerate the hot, humid climate here in Arkansas. Um, many of the things you buy, um, seeds that do well in hot climates, um, tolerate the heat and humidity of the southern United States very well. So. When you're looking through the seed catalog, if some of those things catch your eye, give them a try. Um, this one for sure, the Kajari melon, just a wonderful tasting melon, um, very similar to honeydew. Some people say cross between honeydew and cantaloupe. That's, that may be true, I'm not a melon expert. I, all I know is I like this one. So I actually planted these plants back in the middle of May and I planted them in these seven gallon grow bags. I have one plant in each bag and there's four four bags so there's actually four vines here growing. Um, it took about mm, two and a half three months to start seeing melons. We've so far harvested four but as you can see there are several others getting close. Um, and quite a few more right behind. So I think that we're gonna see most of our harvest in the, the hottest part of our summer here in August. Now I'm gonna include some still pictures of the melons that we already ate um, to show you the color change, what, what basically happens. And this one, if you see that next to my hand, this one is probably fully grown it may grow just a tiny bit more but the thing I'm looking out for on this now is that it will change color from this kind of a cream and green stripes to cream and a fiery kind of orange and that will that will occur over a period of less than 24 hours and after they get to be that fiery orange color on the stripes, you've got probably less than 24 more hours before it's gonna literally slip off the vine. And I'll include some still pictures of that too, but right here at the top, uh, let me see if I'm on that. Right here on the top, this is um, where it's attached is going to start breaking away. And that's a good thing in the sense that you can tell when these melons are ready. You don't have to, sniff things, squash things, figure out all kinds of techniques to determine if your melon is ready, it's gonna tell you because it's gonna turn orange and fall off the vine. However, the problem with that is some of these on this archway have kind of a long way to drop. So I, um, I know you can grow them on the ground, but then you risk insect damage on the ground and I think that it's better to grow them on a, an archway. You just have to have some method of preventing them from falling. Um, let me just tell you about pests as well. And I'm gonna include a shot from, uh, that I took the other day on one of these leaves. The only pest that I've seen, I'm looking around, see if I can see one now, it, on these melons, and I, I, I would think they're susceptible to vine borers and squash bugs, but I have not seen any of those. Um, theoretically though, I'd be watching for them. Um, but what I have seen is the leaf-footed bug, which a lot of gardeners see that. If there's just a few of them, it's not really a huge problem. You can just pinch them off and um, in their adult um, stage, you can just pinch them off and reduce the number of um, young that they produce. However, if there's a lot of them, they can do significant damage to leaves, stems, and fruit. They'll just kind of suck the, 
the juices out of there. So I'll include a picture of that because I'm having trouble finding one now. So these melons are great, but if they fall, and they don't have to fall very far, I lost one as I mentioned in one of my last videos, it only fell maybe 15 inches, but it split, ants got all over it, so that one was a goner. But this one here, you can see, has a net around it. This is what I like to use now, um, and that other melon that we just looked at uh, is ready to have one of these net bags put over it. Um, and I'm going to just go through, this one also is close. I'm just going to go through here and put them on the melons that are getting a fairly good size. Because that way, if you're not around to take that off the vine when you see it to start splitting, you're going to wake up in the morning and kind of a sad day when you lose all that fruit. So let me grab a bag that I use and show you that. So these are the fruit bags that I use. These are um, fruit net bags. They're sold on Amazon. I think there's like a hundred maybe in this packet and they are reusable. So they're tied at one end, just kind of like the bags you would buy potatoes or onions and things in in the grocery store. Um, they do come with these clips. So if you were gonna collect a bunch of things and give them to somebody, you, that's a nice touch you can tie them off with those for the purposes of what I'm wanting to do to save these Kajari melons from a impact with the ground I am going to cover them with one of these and I'm actually just going to use two of these real cheap little zip ties um, whatever you use needs to be strong enough to um, hold about a uh, pound and a half to two pounds, I would say, is the average um, Kajari melon size. And um, it needs to be able to support that um, as it falls off the vine. So keep that in mind. Walmart sacks might work in a pinch, but maybe a little risky. Let me set the camera up and we'll um, go ahead and bag one of these melons here. All right, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, put the net bag over our melon. I'm going to get this up close to my archway trellis. And then I'm going to slide a zip tie through. And hook that one on. I hope I'm not in the way of your view there. And then on the other side, let's bring that up to up here. And attach that one. So now this one should be pretty safe if, um, if it should fall be caught right there in the bag so this is a way to literally net a great harvest out of your kajari melons and i'm going to go through and do this one while we're here because it's getting fairly big so pop the bag over Just kind of slide down in there. 
And let's attach this one up here. Grab me a zip tie. And slide that through. This doesn't take long to do these and it's gonna be worth it to make sure we get our fruit here. And for good measure, let's put another one up here. Over on this side, got bees buzzing all over me here. Well guys, thanks for joining me here in the garden. Enjoy talking about the Kajari melon today and I hope you have good success with yours. Um, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Get Your Wellies. Until then, take care, enjoy your gardens. Bye now.